Hey everyone, welcome to day five of the Winter of Zombie 2016 tour. I am your host, Jay Wilburn. We got three good posts today. Uh, one is the tour post, Middletown Takes New York. We also have two more spotlight interviews. Uh, one is for Thad David, who was a co-author of uh, Divide Then Conquer, the beginning of a series he's doing with J.L. Kozrak. And then we have an interview that's combined of Dane Hatchell and P.A. Douglas, who've co-written a number of things together, uh, ones that I particularly like, um, including the feature work they have now uh, called The End. And you can kind of look in that um, interview and see some links to some of the things. And we're going to talk in more detail about some of their work as we go along here. Uh, the tour post, Middletown Takes New York, kind of goes into this uh, anthology series that... Jack Wallen, uh, kind of brainchild, um, and the idea is, uh, the premise of this particular story is kind of giving the authors one particular premise, one little set of rules, um, some common factors, including characters, and then letting them tell their own unique story with that, and uh, he did it the first time with Middletown, and it just, it really came up with something unusual. You could kind of see the different styles of authors and even with basically, essentially, telling the same story, um, it really showed that you could do just an endless number of variations on that and essentially tell very, very different stories, very, very different uh, meanings and themes and all that sort of stuff with that parameter. Um, and I think it really did show uh, the true potential of the zombie story. I don't even know if that premise would have worked um, with any other type of monster or genre or things like that. I, I don't think you would have gotten the kind of magic that you get with a zombie story in the sense that zombie stories do start with some very simple uh, premise ideas, but then it's the authors and, and the minds behind those stories creating characters, creating themes that take it in all these different directions. So the second one of that is coming out. Uh, Jack is finishing up the uh, last couple stories for that. And I'm very excited about what's coming. I'm very excited about the stories he's waiting on for that one. And I uh, look forward to seeing the second one. Again, sort of a premise sequel as opposed to a direct sequel. And again, it's not a shared universe. It's sort of a shared premise. And the authors just run with that and make different things with it. The premise that he chose for this particular one, um, I think, is going to create some very interesting stories. I enjoyed writing mine, and I really look forward, again, to seeing what the authors created. So check out that tour post to see what was involved there. Uh, Thad David, a uh, very interesting author. The uh, series that he co-wrote uh, with Kazarek uh, was sort of his brainchild, and they created it together. Um, he was overseas and, and kind of came up with the idea there. We're going to go into more detail about that in a few of the posts, but you can hear that in the interview and kind of see what um, was behind sort of his creation of zombies. Uh, Dane Hatchell and P.A. Douglas, great authors separately, so they have worked well within the genre and stretching the genre and taking it in different directions. They both have uh, very interesting minds. Um, normally personalities that big, I'm not sure that they could always come together and create um, good co-written work. It's, I don't think that's a guarantee every time, but in their case with Hatchell and Douglas, I think they do great, great work separately and then coming together for the books that they have co-written. I'm a fan of all those books. They've, they've done some really wonderful stuff together, and hopefully that that uh, co-authoring team will continue to come back together. I can't, I can't foresee them um, separating and not ever writing anything together again. So uh, look, I always look forward to the individual work they do, but then the work they do together is great too. In this case, the um, interviews both deal with authors that are creating this zombie work with the help of another author. And in these cases, they're very, very good. Um, so I think this is great examples of when co-authoring goes well. So check out those spotlight interviews. Check out the tour post. Thank you for being a part of the tour. And we look forward to everything we got ahead. And uh, thanks for joining us for day five. And I'll talk to you again soon.